Hey everyone, so before we begin with our video, we would like to make a small request. Kindly subscribe to our channel and like the video if it helps you and also share it with your friends who may benefit from the same. So hey guys, in this video we will be showing how you could import an excel file onto MATLAB and use it on Simulink. So for this we will be taking the irradiance data, the solar irradiance data and we will be showing in the next video how we could use it for a 24 hour simulation which is scaled down to 24 seconds. So here you have time on one column and then irradiance on the other column. So you can change the name of the variables time and irradiance as well. And we would like to import it as a column vector and then you just have to click on the import selection and you click on yeah so it got imported and you cancel it. And as you can see at the workspace there are two um, variables one is irradiance and the other one is time both of them are um, arrays now 24 cross 1 so time irradiance that's how you could print it on the command window so now um, what we'll do is we'll see how we could use the same on simulink so now if you could open the simulink um, window and type in 1D or 1 and then you could search or you can type in 1D. So if you type in 1D you will need a 1D lookup table and the input to the 1D lookup table should be a clock. So at, again you would find it in the library browser. and the output of it would be to a scope just for this video. So you'll have to change this part of the dialog box. So we'll give it the variable that we imported. So it would be um, irradiance and the other one would be the length of the data. So it will be zero to 23 and this would be irradiance. So let's just cross check once what it, what is it is that we imported. So as you can see, it's irradiance. And we'll need a scope to, before that we just, yeah. So now we'll need a scope to um, see the output. There we go. And now if you run the simulation, So we'll just make the time to 23 seconds. So as you can see the, in, the irradiance value represents the data we imported. So that's it for this video. Hope you liked it. Do check out our other videos and subscribe to our channel if you found it useful and like the video. So thank you.